guys, Turtle Boss here, and today I'm going to give you a quick update of all of my uh, turtles and aquariums and how they are doing. So to begin with, my camera will focus, I have my uh, 120 gallon aquarium which I uh, brought out of storage a couple months ago and have been using to house my two larger turtles and as well as my former pond fish. These uh, goldfish, which I've had for a couple years now, are pretty massive, and yeah, they're they're really fat fish, and you can't see my reflection. Hey, so anyway, other than the uh, the net here falling into the aquarium, uh, quite a few things have happened. And in the last video, I probably made mention to the fact that my um, canister 360 filter which was on this for a while went missing and fortunately we found it it turns out that this was actually in the back of a moving van and um, somehow we missed it when emptying it but now we have it back and hopefully I'll be able to use this on some aquarium in the future because uh, my fluval, my fluval yeah, FX4 is doing a fairly good job at keeping this aquarium uh, clean although I do have quite a bit of algae growth on the front I'll have to scrape that out or well I've tried to get algae eaters for this tank but my turtles for some reason love to eat plecos they will not touch the goldfish here which by now have been living with them for years but they will munch down on almost every pleco I put in there so moving on I have my 20 gallon uh, baby turtle tank and let's see if you can find any of the turtles they have uh, grown into their new tank and they themselves are starting to grow here's one underneath the uh, tree trunk here you look at it Say hi, oh, there's another one behind him. And, yeah, they seem to enjoy this much, but now that they are growing, they are outgrowing this aquarium pretty fast. I've had to add more water, I've moved things around so that they could have a uh, shallower basking area over here and a deeper area where the uh, pump is. And so, yeah, I have, um, basic like a uh, filter on here I could not find filter media proper oh, filter media for it so I was using a charcoal bag which I cleaned out recently and forgot to put back in so I'll have to uh, remind myself to do that soon and here for the light fixtures I have the same light as I did before and I added this uh, pretty massive uh, UV light and that's just to give them uh, some more UV light and to make the uh, help the water become a little warmer because I am keeping these guys in a basement underground and it is below freezing outside so yeah you get a good pan panorama the mess and so yeah moving on to the final thing is my uh, sulcata tortoise is outside pin outside uh like this was his outside wintertime pin is now inside and uh this was what kept him warm uh outside during the winter time as you can see here it is uh insulated but it's just gotten so cold recently we decided the best thing was to just bring it inside and so here you can look at my sulcata tortoise bobo he is uh, munching on a cucumber right now he's enjoying it yeah buddy and that's about it for this uh, update I do want to mention a few things and first of all is this channel has reached 250 subscribers which is just amazing to me and mind-blowing and I will be uploading more uh, this coming year. I've got a couple of videos I'm about to record as soon as I'm done with this one, so look forward to those. I mean, I know most of the videos I've ever made, I've 
promised to make more videos and then never made the videos. But this time, I swear, I'll make the videos. And coming on this behemoth right here, this is a new aquarium I just bought today with some Christmas money. Yay! And this is a 40-gallon breeder aquarium. As I mentioned earlier, my uh, baby turtles over there are starting to outgrow their 20 gallons, so I'm going to move them into this. And I'm pretty excited about this tank. I am uh, currently buying a new light fixture for them online. That is, uh, I forgot what it's called. I'll leave a link in the description below, but it is a kind of like telescope thing that it connects here and it pretty much dangles the light above the aquarium, which is much better because I was having a problem with my 20 gallon aquarium to where I had a heat bulb and I had a um, infrared heat bulb going kind of this way and water splashing up from the filter caused it to short out. I went through two bulbs that way. Oof. And they are not cheap. So, you know, hopefully that will fix that problem. Uh, I can't wait to do the hardscape in this aquarium, figure out what, what, uh, which one of my mini filters I'm going to use on it. And it's just going to be fun. And I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. I'll focus again. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. And a happy new year. And I'm looking forward to making more Turtle Boss videos. And that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that said, Turtle Boss out.